Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't have to. And today we are talking about Palantir's latest news because they just came out with a certification program to help their customers scale and learn more about their Foundry platform so they can be certified so it can help their overall organizations. Then we're going to talk about why certain stocks such as Microsoft, Amazon, and Palantir Technologies have pulled back recently because right now the PLTR stock is trading at around $15.80. Then from there we're going to move on and we're going to talk about the three main reasons to buy Palantir stock and one reason why investors may want to sell the stock depending on what type of investor you are and then we'll conclude the video by briefly touching on SoFi technology stock ticker symbol SOFI and we're going to discuss if SoFi stock is a buy at $13 per share so if you want more videos like this one or more updates on Palantir and SoFi technologies remember to smash the like button right now subscribe if you are new comment your thoughts down below about Palantir and SoFi and now let's get right into today's stories so to start the video off we're going to talk about Palantir Technologies PLTR stock, and if you didn't know, Palantir is a leading builder of operating systems for both government as well as commercial clients, and they recently announced their Palantir certification program, and this is mainly focused on their Palantir Foundry customers, which are commercial customers, to open up the opportunity for various employees to truly build Foundry talent to help their overall workforce and organization. The Palantir certification program is just one step of the latest ongoing efforts of Palantir to support their customers. As more and more of their customers are adopting a Palantir's Foundry platform, they need to know how to use it and properly utilize it to bring value to the overall enterprise. The Foundry program will enable the various employees of these companies to build skills and critical talents for them to properly utilize the Foundry platform. Palantir's global head of commercial business said this and I quote, it has been our company's mission to empower our customers to use Palantir software to transform their organizations. He goes on to say, certifications represent a critical milestone in democratizing the transformative power of our software by setting an explicit standard that organizations should expect from their data and their data professionals. And he is exactly correct. And this is even echoed by the global head of insights for intelligent industry at Capgemini Invent. And they say this, and I quote, our partnership with Palantir to build a global capability of world-class business analysts, data scientists, data engineers, and architects is pivotal to unlock suitable business value rapidly. We have been transforming the business model of our clients with Palantir Foundry for the last six years in different industries and business domains. We are extremely excited to be one of the first Palantir partners globally to be able to leverage Palantir certifications for our talents. This will help our customers increase inter operability and prototyping speeds with a significant business value and a faster time to market of customer applications leveraging Palantir Foundry. The Foundry certifications will be given through various exams that specialize in one of four main tracks and the four tracks are going to be data engineer, application developer, data scientist, and data analyst. So I think this is a very smart move by Palantir to really get people invested into the software that they use, and now there are official certifications for this software. But despite this amazing news, why are Palantir shares and their PLTR stock along with Amazon and Microsoft pulling back today? Well, after some of the growth sector and technology and innovation stocks started to rebound, we see a new red day for PLTR shares and Amazon shares in specifically, while Microsoft is up almost 1%. This pull back is mainly due to the increase in treasury yields and specifically the 10-year treasury bonds which just hit 1.761 percent which is almost a new high they're almost as high as they were before the lockdowns and this is signaling investors to take their money out of growth stocks and technology and innovation stocks and put it into a safer investment such as bonds but some people can view this decrease in the PLTR stock price as a fantastic buying opportunity, which will lead us to the three main reasons to buy Palantir and one reason to sell it. So as we look at this, investors see several reasons to invest into the PLTR stock, and this should give investors great optimism for the long-term outlook of the stock. So let's get into the three reasons that the article says. The first reason is that they have a clear competitive advantage when it comes to artificial intelligence technology because their platforms provide AI-driven solutions 
solutions based on various scenarios according to the data that the software has gathered from the organization itself. And their Gotham platform has done this for the government, the military, and various law enforcement agencies for many years. However, what's really exciting is their Foundry platform because this is allowing commercial enterprises to leverage a similar type of technology. And we can see there is great demand for this technology because their commercial customer count grew around 46% quarter over quarter. And this is also helping many institutions facilitate research such as cancer research. It's also helping out global supply chains because Palantir is trying to solve the global supply chain shortage of semiconductor chips and financial institutions use this software to fight against money laundering. The second reason that some investors are buying Palantir stock is their amazing revenue growth and their overall addressable market. So Palantir operates not only in the artificial intelligence market and not just the analytics market, but the big data market. And in 2020, the big data market was valued at around $198 billion, but that has a compounding growth effect of 14%, which means by 2030, that number is going to almost exceed $684 billion, which is going to give Palantir a giant runway for them to scale as years go on. To put that into perspective, Palantir is only accessing around $1 billion of this market because that's what their first three quarters of revenue look like for 2021, and this is going to represent a 44% increase. Overall, for the entire year of 2021, Palantir predicts a 40% revenue growth rate, which is absolutely astounding. However, from 2022 to 2025, management and various analysts think that Palantir is going to grow at a compounding annual growth rate of 30% in regards to the revenue. The current stock price has been very attractive lately because it's trading at a giant discount from its all-time highs. We can even see on the chart over here that it was trading rather high and then it started to consolidate, but now the stock price is falling due to various macroeconomic factors and the increase of the bond yields. The stock price currently is trading at around a 60% discount from their all-time highs, so many investors are seeing this as a fantastic buying opportunity to get into the stock while it's somewhat cheap. However, Palantir still trades at a price to sales ratio of about 22. However, this is still much better than many other companies, including Snowflake, which trades at 88 times their own PS multiple, which is absolutely astounding. Yet Snowflake still has ample retail investment and backing for the overall stock, even though it's trading at a way higher valuation and a way higher price to sales ratio than the PLTR stock. Now, one of the reasons why investors think to sell this company is A, it is trading at rather high of 22 times their price to sales ratio, and B, is that the company is very secretive. Most investors don't understand really how Palantir is getting and creating so much money and why they have so many different SPAC investments, why they are investing in things like gold and a plethora of other things. And the overall market, including very safe investors, don't like this uncertainty, and this prevents investors from investing too much into the PLTR stock. However, the benefits of owning Palantir overall outweigh the risks, in my personal opinion, especially if you can get the stock below $15 per share, which is their low and average price target. Well, the high end price target ranges between $25 to $30. However, with the company's very strong technical expertise, their amazing software and no direct competitors, according to this article, it seems like a good buying opportunity if you're willing to hold for at least five years because the first two years, Palantir plans to scale during the first two years. And then after the first two years, that's when the stock is going to experience the most amount of growth, at least in my opinion. And that's that's what management thinks. So if we conclude their massive addressable market, their very impressive compounding growth rate for their revenues, and their discounted stock price right now, overall it seems like a decent investment. Speaking about another stock that has pulled back recently, and another fantastic investment in my opinion, is SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol SOFI. So let's determine if SoFi Technologies is a good buy at $13 per share. Currently the SOFI stock is down around 45% from its recent highs, and it now trades at a value of around $10 billion with a stock price of around $13, give or take. Another great company that has also pulled back that also operates in the fintech space, just like SoFi, is Block, which used to be called Square, and they are trading at a value of around $57 billion. To put their price to sales ratios into perspective, Block has generated about $16 billion worth of revenue, and they did that last year, while right now SoFi is just shy of $1 billion in yearly revenue. So from here, we can clearly see the math of the multiple 
multiple that they're trading at. But honestly, for long-term holds, these both have fantastic growth prospects, especially if we consult their overall price targets, because SoFi could be worth anywhere between $10 all the way up to $22, according to analysts. And since I'm very bullish on SoFi, I tend to lean more toward the $22, especially if they can get their banking license. The reason why I think their banking license is going to be a fantastic catalyst for the stock, and it may even cause it to surge, is that it's very close. And the reason I think it's very close is that various employees from SoFi Technologies actually have SoFi Bank on their titles and on their LinkedIn, which means that the bank charter catalyst and the banking license is actually a lot sooner than we think because they already have SoFi Banking employees that are already primed and ready to go. However, nothing official and no official reports or announcements has come from the company itself. However, I do think this is more than on its way of happening relatively soon and definitely in the first or second quarter of 2022. I would be very surprised if it went beyond that. Now, I personally think it's going to happen in the first quarter and I'm pretty confident about that, but we're going to have to wait and see. While the stock price is pulling back, it could be a fantastic buying opportunity right now because this bank charter and banking license catalyst is going to get a short-term bounce in the stock price, which I think is going to cause a reversal in the stock and instead of the stock continuously falling, after the bank charter catalyst, I think the stock is going to start appreciating very nicely throughout the next few years. So that is my personal prediction, but I'd love to hear your comments down below. What do you think about Palantir, SoFi, Block, Microsoft, Amazon, and any of the other stocks that I briefly mentioned during this? What do you think about Palantir's newest news about their certification program, and how low do you think the Palantir and SoFi stock price could go during this time of market volatility? Remember to smash the like button right now for more videos like this one and news updates. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.